Hi, yes, I'm still waiting on those buckets of money to be delivered to my house. Oh, my occupation. Uh, I'm a professional YouTuber. <laughs> Animal Crossing came out two weeks ago. I would be lying if I said that I haven't spent 98% of the last two weeks just trying to pay back Tom <laughs> Nook. But in the process of that, I built a, a, a recording studio inside my giant Animal Crossing mansion. Last night, I was kind of just vibing out in the studio, like having a little session. I have so far a keyboard, a guitar, a drum set, a ukulele, and um, an ocarina. There's a, more instruments that you can get, but I haven't found them yet, and I have enough already. So last night, I sampled all of them. In order to properly record something on a Nintendo Switch, you need a capture card, which I don't have. So I just put on my MacGyver outfit, and I kind of just made one myself. All right, so here's our setup, our professional setup. This is our capture card right here, which was professionally installed by myself. Here's where we are recording our samples. Very professional. We're doing everything by the books. I'm just going to walk into the studio now. That is a cat. That's a cat. Screen recording on. Okay, so here we are in the studio. Just going to turn the lights on here. The first thing we're going to record is this keyboard. Okay, next up we'll get some drums. Next we'll go play this ukulele that's on the ground. Okay, now we'll get this guitar. And I also have an ocarina. Should be dope. So for today's challenge, um, I'm putting on my gardening outfit. It's kind of the vibe of Animal Crossing is you're just pulling weeds, planting flowers and shit. So um, I'm just gonna slip that on real quick. I have like a variety of different hats that I could wear. Unfortunately, I can't really use headphones with any of these. I also tried another variation of this exact outfit, but um... Yeah. It just wasn't really working. Anyways, let's get started. <laughs> so here's um, all of the stuff I recorded some of the drums, this is the ukulele, the keyboard, and this is the guitar, and the, or the ocarina right here. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to cut up some of these drums and uh, just make a little intro beat. I've set the tempo to 100 beats per minute because that's like the epic YouTube gamer intro, gaming YouTube intro, gamer YouTube gaming music tempo. I also recorded some of those menu sounds that I think would be cool to use um, for like little percussive elements. Be cool to put in between the drums. So now let's mess with this uh, keyboard. I think we should just mimic the uh, theme, theme from the, the like menu intro of the game. So I've kind of just drawn out the MIDI here. And let's go ahead and stick that right in the beginning and see how this sounds now. We also have that ukulele that's kind of got a nice little strum, guitarish, strummy acoustic sound to it. 
So I think we should use that for like the chords. So I'm gonna just cut out a little bit of this bottom end. I think it'd be cool to have it low pass in so it's not just right away. I think we should switch this up also. I'm just gonna clone this. So instead of that note right there, maybe it goes a little higher. We have um, the ocarina too, which I think will make some nice strings. I put a little bit of like chorus on it also, and uh, then drew in the second part of the chord progression. But I think that would be cool to put right here in the break. From the drum set, we also have this little crash, like kick crash right here which is just horrendously ugly, but let's see if we can use it. I think um, with the ocarina, maybe do like a separate little top end melody over this part. So I think for the drop, I'm gonna use maybe some outside elements from like Serum or something, but I want the main synth to be from the instruments that we sampled in the game. Also the drums, you know, as much as I would love to actually use the studio drums from Animal Crossing, they're not gonna slap accordingly. There's a certain threshold for slapping that we need our song to do, but you know, the core heart of the drop is still gonna be made from our Animal Crossing instruments. So it's like a mid-tempo song. I want the snare to kind of snap, so I'm like, I think I have a sample of like Tom Nook talking or something. I'm gonna stretch it a tiny bit so that this end part ends right when a... Chop this part right here so Tom Nook's just like glitching out before our epic glitch hop. <laughs> okay, I already got an idea just from that, so like... I'm already ashamed of this. Like I already feel terrible for what I'm doing. So next what we need is a subline for the drop. I think that we can use these cool little percussive bops from the menu. Let's see if we can even take the crash from the drum set. That's why, that way we're at least using something from it, you know? Let's make a lead out of this, uh, what was it again? The keyboard, I think. And what I'm gonna do probably is keep the main MIDI of the theme. So right where the snare hits. Let's try this. So um, these four right here, <laughs> I just shortened them so now they're just kind of little blips. Adds like some groove to it. So I'm gonna keep playing with the reverb, just kind of fill this out. So this part right here where the note kind of stops, I think we should take the ukulele or something to maybe make like a little arp section. It's corny as hell, but like, let's try it up an octave. <laughs> I'm gonna bring in one of these hi-hats from the drum set to try and help fill this out some more. We should bring in one more element here for the second part. And I'm kind of thinking the ocarina would, would maybe be the correct choice. I kind of really like that. I almost wanna I almost wanna put that earlier too, because it's so nice. Like a little variation of it. 
so for this section right here, I'm just gonna copy the MIDI and then we can change a couple notes so that it's uh, a nice little variation. This is probably my favorite part of this song right here. What I wanna do now is try and take uh, this progression right here for like the B section of the drop. I think if I just move everything down to D. This is a funky. Okay, we need to switch up our main melody that we got from the keyboard. Basically everything needs to match this new progression so that it's in key. And then I think this should build up into like this long thing that drags out into the next part. It's still missing one thing in the background that we need, some kind of like ARP or filler. These guitar samples are god awful, but I guess we could try and use one. The last thing that we have to do is change this MIDI to really make it, to finish it. Cause if I left it how it was right now, it would be, uh, it's like a cliffhanger. We need the melody to resolve. So that's what we're gonna do. And let it fade out into, into uh... we did it. Okay, <clears throat> so I, I made like a couple changes. But one thing I did to make this more authentic is I took the keyboard sound and I layered that with the chords, like the saw chords, so that it's more of the instruments that we used. So like right here, that's the keyboard from the studio. And then that layered over with the saw, sounds like this. It's sick, it's got a little bop to it. Other than that, I, I added a little reverse tom nook Thing there for the buildup. That's that's pretty much about it. Everything else is about the same. This is it. Uh, I'm gonna play the whole song now. All right, here we go. That's it. Absolute <laughs> banger. Oh, I forgot also, when I took that Tom Nook vocal, at least I think it's Tom Nook, and I like pitched it down and stretched it out, this is what it sounds like. <laughs> That's so scary. <laughs> so I'm definitely probably gonna do something with that, like something darker and cooler. Yeah, thank you for watching. I, I, I don't know if you caught the PSA earlier, but... <laughs> That's super important stuff, so make sure that you, you know, spread the word. That's it. See ya. <clears throat> Probably should have said this earlier, but my remix for Slander and Said the Sky, their song Potions, comes out this Wednesday on Monster Cat. This Wednesday. So I think I have a pre-save link. If I do, I'll put it down below. This Wednesday, Potions remix, out on Monster Cat. <laughs>